finally here I apologize everyone for the issues that we had um, looks like a couple of you are watching here um, so welcome um, I'm gonna show you the ins and outs of how I can help you become a travel agent today and it's it's remarkably easy um, and uh, a lot of fun honestly so I hope that you will join me as we go through the live stream today, if you don't get the chance to stay during the whole stream, um, I'm sure it will be posted on our page for you to view later uh, if you wish. And uh, if you are also viewing this post uh, stream, welcome as well. Um, so Travel Wizzy, let me give you a little bit of background. I started this several years ago um, to kind of fulfill my longtime dream of you know selling travel and, and doing things as a travel agent on the side and things like that. Um, you know, I'm really passionate about travel. I love planning people's vacations. Uh, and if you're here too, I'm sure you have that interest as well. So today I'm going to show you how our new program, uh, can help you, uh, achieve that dream as well. Uh, and it's, it's completely free. Uh, there is, um, some different options that you can choose from and we'll go through that a little bit later. So, um, let's get going on the slideshow here. So, uh, what is Travel Wizzy? What are we actually uh, about? So Travel Wizzy is what they call a host agency. And if you don't know what that is, don't worry. We'll let you know here in just a second. Um, but uh, this this takes a lot to you know to get set up. Um, but we're we're really excited that we're ready and raring to go. Uh, and now that uh, Travel Wizzy is a an official host agency. Um, so let's explain to you what that is. Um, so basically, uh, in a nutshell, I'll read this to you. So whatever the size, the, the business uh, model is the same. The host agency acts as an umbrella for travel agents that belong to their organization. So all travel agents under the host will use the same booking number. Um, there's a couple different things known in the travel industry called an ARC number, an IAD number, and a CLIA number. Uh, I believe there's a couple other ones uh, that are out there as well, but specifically, uh, we are a member of the CLIA organization. Uh, that is one of the largest and most respected cruise line organizations in the world. Uh, and Travel Agents, uh, Travel Wizzy is a part of that organization. Um, so we are a host agency. Um, and, and if we keep reading there, and it says, and it will be seen by the vendors as one agency 
uh, instead of a conglomeration of agencies. So now let me break that down because I'm sure that's confusing if you've never heard that term, host agencies. So let me break it down a little bit more. So host agencies allow you to become an independent travel agent with no complicated licensing and paperwork. Now, how do we do that? Um, you're able to operate as an independent agent underneath our license. So we have done all of the complicated work that it takes to start uh, an independent travel agency. Um, we are licensed in the state of Ohio. Um, we're fully recognized by the state of Ohio. We are fully licensed to operate within that state um, and do business uh, beyond. Uh, we're also fully insured. Uh, travel is insured for over $2 million. Uh, so that's a great thing uh, to have. Uh, and we've taken care of all of that complicated paperwork that would normally be required for you to become an independent agent. Um, you're automatically, when you join our program, you are automatically licensed to sell travel uh, when joining our host agency. So um, basically what a host agency is, is a company that sets up all of the paperwork, all of the licensing, all of the things that are required to run as an agency. But we allow you to run a independent uh, you know, agency on your own and allow you to sell travel to your friends, your family, uh, new clients that you obtain along the way. Um, and so on. So you basically operate your business under our license and that's what a host agency is. Uh, and we give you access to some of the biggest vendors in the world uh, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. <clears throat> so uh, you're automatically licensed, like I said, to sell travel when joining our host agency. Uh, you get access to the same agents as or the same rates as a real travel agent because you are a real travel agent when you join our program. Um, we automatically license you to be able to sell travel through our license. So you get access to the same rates as if you were walking this into somewhere uh, like your local travel agency. So you can offer those same amazing and unbelievable rates that you'll see in just a little bit when we get to the demo portion uh, to your clients. So, uh, so you can operate it without obtaining a business license. Uh, you're independent, so you'd be listed as an independent travel agent. Um, you do not need to obtain a business license in order to operate if you are under our uh, program. Uh, the uh, the CLIA membership and, and insurance and things like that that extends to you, um, and it's all provided by Travel Easy as the host agency. So now you can partner. We have formed many, many partnerships at this point, and we are continuing to form many partnerships uh, as we go forward. Some of the biggest names in the travel industry, I formed a partnership with them. Um, that includes um, Walt Disney World. Uh, Walt Disney is a, an official travel partner of Travel Wizzy, uh, Universal Studios, SeaWorld, Expedia, and much, much more. And I'll show you a little bit more later on uh, we'll have a slide here on some of the other vendors that we support uh, we support quite a few and that list is going to continue to grow so if you're under our host agency you automatically get access to that partnership and you can automatically sell directly with these companies um, none of that money none of the money that comes from your clients comes to us it goes directly to uh, those industries like Walt Disney World, Universal Studios, and that provides a little bit extra security and makes me feel more uh, comfortable, honestly. Um, so yeah, uh, so now uh, you get access to those. So that last bullet point says access to sell directly, uh, travel directly with vendors. Uh, travel Wizzy never collects money for your clients directly. You will book uh, with the vendors directly, providing security for you and your clients. So anytime that you book travel for your clients under our services um, and under your access that you get through us, that money will go directly to those vendors. Uh, Disney, that means that when you sell something like a Disney vacation, that comes directly uh, the, from Disney and they'll get a Disney email confirmation because you are directly with Disney. Um, you become a Disney travel agent uh, and so on with these vendors. So uh, to continue on beyond this slide, so what is the eligibility for this program? Um, I'm sure that might be a question on some of your minds. Uh, it's not very difficult to be a part of this program. Uh, you must be 18 years or older in order to participate. 
uh, you have to have no travel agent experience. Uh, that's that's one thing. Honestly, when I first started out in this in this journey of mine, uh, I was an independent travel agent that obviously eventually formed this company. Uh, no experience at all when I first started. I just had a passion and a drive and a desire to give uh, my family, my friends, uh, new people that I've met, great deals. And you know, I, I always tell people that. I honestly like, I think, booking other people's vacations more than my own. Uh, it gives me joy to, to give them, you know, an amazing vacation because, you know, a lot, not a lot of people know that a travel agent can give you great deals. Uh, and, you know, that this really is a growing industry, believe it or not. Uh, more and more and more I'm seeing people saying, hey, I need a travel agent. Um, and that's because we can offer many, many discounts that these big, companies just can't offer because they, they work through us and we give those discounts because they know we have the clients. Um, so all of our vendors, uh, our vendor partners, uh, they offer 100% free training uh, in all of their booking platforms. Uh, so it's kind of a, a learn and earn as you go. So that's what's great about this. You absolutely have to have no experience selling travel uh, before to get started here. Um, and you can use all of our vendor partner portals. Uh, I think there's only uh, one, I think, that doesn't have it, um, and that's Legoland. But there is a description on how to book that on our website. So we're going to provide training for that as well. Um, and anything that you would need along the way, obviously, I'll be available to help you learn about that program. Um, and then the last requirement is to be authorized to work in the United States. Uh, so if you meet those uh, those four different things, then this program could absolutely be something that that uh, you would love to to be a part of. So um, how does it work? So that's that's probably why you're here. Uh, how does it work? So let's go through that step by step, and it'll make sort of a little sense to you. But hopefully by the end of this, um, it will make more sense. And guys. Please drop your questions along the way in the comments if you have them, and then we'll try to get to them towards the end of the, end of the, end of the webinar and uh, go through some things. Um, so how it works. So uh, you as the agent, if you're interested in this program, after you see what you see today, um, you go to www.travelwizzy.com. Uh, you click on the Become an Agent link. Uh, you sign up. There's a couple different questions. Uh, and information that you have to put in uh, to the website, uh, then we will give you a call, uh, just a verification call to make sure that you're a human. Um, you know, most companies would do this. Uh, and then uh, after that, uh, once the agent gets signed up and approved for the program, uh, you are instantly capable of setting up uh, relationships with the different companies uh, that are a part of our partnership. Uh, it's, it's really, really simple. Uh, you get access to our CLIA number uh, and our agency number, uh, and then uh, you're able to go out and use the links that are in our website to set up uh, accounts directly with those people uh, on the portals that you'll see today during the demo. Uh, the agent uh, then obtains access to travel agent rates because again, uh, on this program, you are a travel agent. And then um, what we do is we either allow you to, you can use our name if you want to, you can name that on your site or whatever you want to do, or you can just sell under your own name. Um, I see, if you see a lot of people out there on Facebook selling travel, uh, say, hey, I have this, this great deal for you. Uh, uh, and those kind of people posting those deals, this is how they do it. Uh, this is um, how they're doing it. It's it's through a host agency most likely, unless they've gone through the paperwork, the licensing, um, and there's quite a bit of expense involved in getting something like this started. So most likely the people that you're seeing on Facebook um, are using one of these programs. So um, you can create a Facebook page, say, uh, you know, John sells travel or something like that, something unique that you want to create. Um, and then, you know, promote your site, promote travel deals, make travel deals on your own and sell it directly to your clients. Um, so then uh, the last point here is agent uses our license to establish relationship with vendors. Uh, they sell the travel and then they earn commission that is then split with TravelWizzy for utilizing our license. So um, 
let me go into a little bit about the vendors. And then at some point, I promise you guys, you're going to get to see hands hands on uh, live some of the vendors that you'll get access to. Um, so bear with me. Uh, if you're here still, um, just just wait a few more minutes and we'll get to that. So currently, uh, the vendors that we support, uh, we are live with 32 vendors, uh, and that's going to continue to grow. Uh, I plan to add maybe two a month uh, for a while until we get to our max. Uh, but right now, we support some of the largest companies in the industry. So that would be Disney Cruise Line is a partner uh, with TravelWizzy now. Uh, MSC Cruise Line, Norwegian Cruise Line, Celebrity Cruises, Carnival Cruises, um, and all of those, again, are booked directly with uh, those vendors and those um, uh, those cruise uh, providers. So uh, some more that we have is Royal Caribbean International, uh, Holland America Line, Virgin Cruises, uh, Virgin Voyages, uh, That's those are those adult cruises uh, that they have. Uh, Seaborne Cruises, Cunard Cruises, that's some of the more overseas vendors, I guess, uh, is Cunard and Seaborne. Uh, we're also partnered directly with the Walt Disney Company. Uh, we're very proud to be a partner of the Disney Company, uh, and we're very excited to have a partnership with them. And uh, we can actually go and log in directly with Disney and book travel. Uh, so that's really nice. Uh, Adventures by Disney. You can sell tours all over the all over the world. Uh, Universal Studios Florida and Hollywood uh, just joined our partnership a couple weeks ago, uh, and we're so excited to have them aboard now as well. Uh, so if if you do join this program, you will also be a partner of Universal Studios and uh, Orlando and Hollywood as well, which is really exciting. Um, SeaWorld World Parks and Resorts uh, is also another partner. Uh, one that is listed a little bit down there is a subsidiary company of them is Bush Gardens. Bush Gardens is also a company that is associated with us. Um, you have Apple Vacations, which is actually, I believe, owned by Hilton Hotels. Uh, they're also a partner. Blue Sky Tours, uh, Discovery Cove Vacations, Fun Jet Vacations, Sesame Place Vacations, some of those Sesame Street uh, theme parks that you see around the country. Uh, we're a partner with them. Uh, also a partner with Southwest Vacations. Uh, Trans Global Tours and then Travel Leisure Glow uh, Go Tours as well as the one under that. Um, this isn't all of our vendors. This is just a small portion of them. Uh, like I said, we're approved with over 32 vendors and many, many more are to come. So, um, so I wanted to give you an example of the pricing plans that I'm talking about here before I go into the demo, just so that you kind of have an idea when we're looking in there what you're going to be expecting. Uh, so Travel Wizzy offers uh, operates off a commission split. Um, we're a host agency, so if you're using our license to sell travel, we split things 50-50 uh, on our free plan. So that would be the agent starter plan, which is honestly, if you're very new to travel and very new to this industry, that's probably where I would, uh, would like to start you or recommend that you start if you're brand new because there's no need for you to spend money if you are still learning how to make sales and how to do things uh, and things like that. Um, but uh, but yeah, so to give you an example of the commission split, uh, this is not uncommon to see uh, Carnival Cruise Line. Sometimes it's, it's even more, honestly. Uh, Carnival Cruise Line will be offering a $150 commission uh, on a booking uh, for your clients. Uh, and then basically, if you're on the free plan, we do a 50-50 split. So if you book your client, uh, you would earn as an agent $75. And then Travel Wizzy would get the other half, uh, which is $75 for utilizing our license. So a pretty decent profit margin for you just starting out and learning this industry. Now, we do have more premium plans, say that you know you are a seasoned travel agent and you have a lot of clients already. If you would like to join our premium plans, that's more than you know a good idea for you because uh, we offer two different plans. We offer the Travel Wizard plan, which is a monthly plan. Uh, that's $24.99 a month. Uh, and then uh, just a setup fee of $24.99. Uh, and then uh, you get access to one, become your own boss, so, so sell on your own schedule. Uh, earn unlimited 70% commission. So to give you an example, uh, a 70% commission split. So if it was, say, another $150 that you had on a booking, 
uh, your commission offered on that booking is 150. That means that you would then earn $105 of that booking, and then Travel Wizzy only retains $45 of that uh, that booking. So you get a 70% commission split. So that that program is designed for whenever you're getting a lot of clients, you're getting a lot of sales, you're just booming, you're doing great as an independent travel agent. Um, you can switch to one of those plans and then you start earning a lot more money and it gives you a lot more opportunity uh, to, to grow your business. So um, hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. If it doesn't, please drop uh, questions in there. I do see that some questions are coming in. I will get to those very, very shortly. Um, so uh, yeah, so hopefully that makes sense. So let's go to demo. And um, I do see a question from Tessa. Uh, you said, are international partners in the plan? I have someone, wants, uh, someone wanting to book Paris, but wasn't sure that's something we will be able to do. Um, so yes, Tessa, um, international partners are a part of the plan. Uh, some of those vendors may already offer that option to you. Uh, one of the ones that we're going to demo today is Vax Vacations. That's the one I would recommend you uh, you checking, uh, as well as Expedia Tap. Any of those would be able to sell in other countries, um, as well as any of the cruise lines. Um, we can also sell in other countries. Now, Carnival does have some restrictions based upon you know the state of the world right now. Um, they do have some restrictions for certain countries that you can't sell in, but Paris, uh, uh, you know, obviously Paris, you know wouldn't be a part of that, but, uh, you know, there isn't any restrictions, uh, for you being able to sell currently, uh, on the, on the vendors that we do have approved overseas. So I would recommend going to Vax Vacation Access, um, take a look at there. Uh, and I believe you should be able to find some rates there. Um, if that makes sense. And then Expedia Tap, I would also recommend taking a look at that, uh, cause that should, uh, give you what you need, but yes, anything that's out there internationally, you can sell it. Uh, currently, but we do have additional international vendors that we're working on partnerships with that will come on board uh, in the next couple months. So yes, so you can sell now if it's there, but international partners are going to come later too. Yes. Uh, okay. Now uh, for demo time. So we're going to go over a couple of our portals that you'll get access to. That is Expedia Tap, uh, the Walt Disney Travel Agent Portal, Carnival Cruise Line, and then we're going to go over the Vax Vacation Portal, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's a great tool that you get access to uh, if you join our program. So let me see if I can kill this screen without killing this live stream. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to go for Expedia Tap first, um, and hopefully you all can see that. I do see that it looks like it's on the live stream. So um, as you can see, Expedia Tap, that is a travel agent portal um, that you need a license to access travel agent rates. Expedia does a fantastic job at making this very, very user friendly. Uh, and, and believe it or not, most of the portals that you're going to be working in look about the same as the, the main websites that you would go to book travel for yourself anyway. Um, so let's, let's do an example. So um, one of my favorite places to travel that you'll see me demo a lot is Orlando. That's one of my favorite places growing up. Uh, my family went there almost every year uh, to Walt Disney. So a lot of fun memories there. So I'll choose that. Let's just say we want to go October 6th to October 12th. We have one room. We can uh, do two adults, uh, two children. And let's say one child is seven and one's 11. And we'll click that and then we just click search. It really is that simple. And then we'll get a bunch of uh, information there uh, that we can then share to our clients. Um, so we can see that we have $173 a day. That's at Universal Command and Bay. Uh, that's a really nice hotel. Uh, if I remember right, it has a bowling alley actually in the hotel. So um, Universal's Dockside, see the total there that includes taxes and fees. Um, it's just like using Expedia but you're using it as a travel agent. So you get access to rates that are probably not on the main Expedia page. Um, and that's the benefit that you can kind of give to your clients. And we were doing a quote the other week uh, for one of the major airlines 
uh, for one of our clients and we could actually offer a lower flight rate uh, than what was available on the actual uh, website for that airline. So that is the benefit. They do give a lot of great deals to travel agents um, and you get access to that. And the really cool thing is uh, that I'll go ahead and mention now is that any of these rates that you see today, you can actually as a travel agent and as a part of our program, access them for yourself. So you can totally book your own vacations and make commission off of your own vacations. Yes, that is possible if that's a question in your mind. Um, so anything that you see there. So that's really easy setup. We could do the same thing for um, car rentals, for flights, for vacation packages, activities in the locations that our people are going to, airport transfers, um, and then you can do group travel as well uh, in Expedia. And it's got a really, really nice interface as well. So uh, really love working with Expedia, very easy interface to work with, um, and it's, it's just overall great. So um, next one that we will go over uh is the disney one but let me have just a moment it logged me out give me just a moment so let me know if you guys have any questions thus far um, hopefully it's pretty straightforward just got to get the password in here There we go. All right, so this is the Disney Travel Portal. Apologize. There we go, lost you there for a second. Um, this is the Disney Travel Agents Portal. Again, you do need to be a licensed travel agent in order to access this page. So TravelWizzy, if you join our program, you do get access to this website directly and you'll be able to book your clients directly in this page. Anything that you see me demoing today, you will get access to as a part of our program um, and be able to log in, do your own bookings, make your own mock-up vacations that you can then advertise to your clients and sell to them. So this is the Disney Travel Agent Portal. This is 100% directly with Walt Disney. Like I said, we are 100% a partner of Walt Disney World. So uh, this is their real travel agent page. So anything you book here, uh, will get your clients a direct confirmation from Walt Disney World. Uh, you can also do things like link their magic bands. You can sell them dining plans in here for Walt Disney Company uh, and all sorts of things. So let's do a mock-up vacation portal here. Let's see. Let's say we want to go September 2nd through the 6th, and we have two adults, two children. We still like the ages, and then let's just say we have an 11 and a 12 year old. And then we, we can also select, if we do have someone with accessibility issues uh, that we're selling to, you would select this uh, option here, and then it should automatically account for those, uh, those issues whenever you're booking. All right, so if it looks eerily similar to the Walt Disney World website, you're right because it looks so much similar. If you know how to navigate Walt Disney World site, you know how to navigate through Travel Lizzie's portals. So um, this is a selection of hotels that you can offer to your clients. Uh, we have the Disney All-Stars Resort, uh, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, and so on. So you have access to all of the Walt Disney World resorts that you can sell to your clients. So a personal favorite of mine, you know, I honestly really like the All-Star Resorts for their value and for, um, you know, just the bus transportation is nice there. It's not super crowded like some of the other ones. Um, I personally like it. So uh, once you get into the... Uh, actual booking area, you'll have a couple different options here. So um, you'll see those those offers that you see from like Walt Disney World commercials 
and different things like that. Um, most of those offers will be listed here uh, that you can offer to your clients. Like if they have a Disney visa, um, they can get certain things, certain uh, packages you know, at a discount. So you would select this and then it would update your rates based upon that. Florida residents, um, uh, they, they have a really nice discount uh, for people that are living in Florida already. If they wanna visit the Walt Disney Company, they can save up to 30% off rooms. And then annual pass holders, uh, if your client has an annual pass to the Walt Disney World theme parks, uh, you can also offer that discount as well, which is really nice. Um, there's also another one. Uh, see, this is what I was talking about, the special offer. Like if you see, you know, book right now and you'll save up to 30% off rooms on, uh, you know, this, this, and this date. Um, if that offer is available to you, you can select that. Um, and then you should see some of the rates update. So you can see um, it updated from the standard room is 163.50, but we applied that promotion that that individual scene on say the commercial. Um, so we did the save 30% up on rooms, and then the room is now 138.98 per night. Um, so we saved them quite a bit of money. Uh, so we can do that directly for them. We just select that. Wait for that to load. And then uh, we have all the different options here. So uh, theme park tickets. Uh, one thing I would really recommend adding is theme park tickets because your commissions uh, are a lot better if they do that. Sometimes, I'll be honest with you, Disney is a little bit weird about that. So they like you to try to sell your ticket options if you can. Now, if your clients are going to be booking Walt Disney World anyway through a travel agent, most likely they're going to buy tickets through you. So that's a nice option to have. So you can select uh, tickets. And then you can view the availability just like you would on the Walt Disney World, how many days do they want. Like, I don't know who in the world in the right mind could do 10 days at Walt Disney World walking through the theme parks, um, but I'm sure that exists. Uh, so you can add that package to them. Uh, let's just say we want to go to the base of four. We can add the park hopper options if we want to. Let's just go ahead and do that. Um, we also have the option for Park Hopper Plus, um, and we can hit continue. We also have the option of going into Memory Maker, which is um, if you guys have ever been to Disney and seen people handing their passes to like the photographers in order to get a photo taken, and then it goes to their phone to their My Disney Experience app. Um, that's what you can add here. You can add Memory Maker for them. Um, you can also do the dining plans uh, as well. So basically that includes, um, there's two different ones, I believe. Uh, so if we want to add a dining plan for our clients, uh, we would do either the quick surface dining plan or the Disney dining plan. That looks so much more tasty uh, than the other one. And I'm sure that's on purpose on Disney's part. But uh, um, so we can see it includes two quick service meals, no table service meals, includes one snack. Uh, non-alcoholic drink, one resort refillable mug per person. So that is those mugs that you see uh, out there, um, people getting refills all the time at their resorts. Those are uh, what they're using. Um, you can buy it for your entire stay. So that would add it for your clients so that they could have um, like Coke and, and Diet Coke and all that stuff as much as they want um, during their stay. And then this one is a uh, table service meal. So we can add either one of those. So let's just say we want to go with the more expensive one. You know, you're going to Disney, you spend a lot of money anyway, right? So we're going to add the dining plan to them. And then we could add uh, ground transportation so we can add car rentals if we wanted to directly in here as well. Um, and then uh, we can also add travel protection. So that's something I would always recommend to clients. Uh, especially in this day and time with COVID and everything else going on uh, that provides them some extra cancellation uh, protection uh, that you can offer them uh, as well as medical baggage coverage and, and much, much more. Um, but for this, for this quote, we'll leave that off. Um, so you can see uh, subtotals 426.06. Uh, um, so basically, if this was far enough out, they should just be able to do a small down payment. Um, but you can see this is what we need to focus on more is the 359.94 um, is the commission. 
So if you were on our free plan and you sold a package like this, that means for this booking that what took me maybe five minutes to set up, you've already earned $179.97 on this booking. Uh, for someone that's going to go to Disney anyway, um, you made it a heck of a lot easier for them to get there uh, and made their experience a lot more easy uh, by planning it for them. And you instantly earned $179.97 on our, on our free plan. doesn't cost you anything to be a part of our program, like I said, um, but you earned uh, that amount of money pretty quickly. So uh, that's the Disney portal. Uh, they're really great to work with as well. Um, and now Carnival Cruise Line. Uh, but before I go, I did see a question down here from Tessa. Um, so you said, does Priceline have an agent portal? They seem to have better prices than Expedia from some of our personal trip research. So um, I don't think that they have an agent portal. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, some of these places do. Some of these places don't. Um, offer programs like that, but I will take note of that and I will check into that. Um, we don't have a partnership directly with Priceline yet, um, but that doesn't mean never. So um, if you are seeing some better prices, definitely we'll look into that for you. Uh, but I don't think off the top of my head that they have a program, but I could be completely wrong, but I'll, I'll look into that, Tessa. Um, okay. The other portal that we we're going to go over is uh, Carnival Cruise Line. And, uh, and again, guys, if you do have questions along the way, um, please continue to drop them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, we're going to have more time for questions in just a little bit, um, if you have any. Um, and even post-stream, if you're watching this uh, post-stream by chance, you can also uh, drop your questions there and we'll reply to you with our answers. Uh, and we can even set up calls if you'd like to do a personal call as well to learn more about the program. Um, so this is GoCCL Navigator. This is Carnival Cruise Lines portal. Fantastic uh, portal to work in. Uh, this is directly with Carnival Cruise Line. Uh, and this is, again, something that you'll get access through our program uh, if you're interested. And uh, let's just do a, a mock-up booking right now. So we're going to click uh, we could click one of two things. We could either click group booking, uh, which is a slightly more complicated, but honestly not that complicated at all. Um, and there's some great resources and great training videos on how to do that, uh, both on YouTube uh, as well as uh, the training portal that is on TravelWizzy has some information about that once you get into the program. Um, so for this example, we're going to do individual stateroom. And we're going to go, let's just say we want to go on a cruise. I mean, I'd like to go on a cruise tomorrow, wouldn't I? Um, but, uh, but for this one, we'll just do November. Uh, we want to go, let's say our clients want to go either the Bahamas or the Caribbean. So we could go to a bunch of different places. If they have a specific ship in mind, it will then show you, okay, these are the dates in November. Uh, I want to go to the Bahamas or the Caribbean. And you notice that some of these ships are grayed out. Uh, it's because they do not sail uh, to those particular areas. So anything that you see uh, open and available, they, uh, they're capable of sailing to that area within November. So um, Carnival Celebration is an amazing ship. That's one of their newest uh, ones in the fleet. Roller coaster on board, all kinds of cool things. Um, and then it'll see that's where it departs from. All those are grayed out. So we see... That is its home port, so I know that's correct. Uh, and then how many days they want to go. This particular cruise ship only goes six to nine days, so we'll go with that. Um, if they did have a VIPF number, and if you don't know what VIPF means, that is very important fun person. That is their own, uh, their own terminology that they like to use for their VIPs. That is like their loyalty program for their cruisers. Um, a lot of times uh, people will have that. So if they if they have never sailed with Carnival or if they ha are just now sailing with Carnival, if they've done one cruise, they'll automatically be enrolled in the program. Now, if your clients don't have the VIPF number because they've never been on Carnival at all, I would honestly still go sign them up for one. You can do that directly on Carnival's website. Uh, you can sign them up even if they've never taken a cruise with Carnival because a lot of times those VIPF numbers end up having major discounts on them, even for new members. So I would recommend if you're going to sell a Carnival Cruise to your clients, you would automatically go out there 
and uh, create them a VIPF number on your own and then uh, get their email and things like that and sign them up because you can enter that information and then here their VIPF number, their state of residency and get them much better deals most of the time. So for this example, I won't do that because um, I'm not looking at a real person. So we're going to click search sailings. Now you're going to see a couple different things here uh, as we continue to go through this. Um, you got interior cabins, ocean view, balcony, and suites, um, and then the dates. So Sunday, November 3rd. So I see this one, it has probably the, the cheaper interior. So if they wanted to go interiors, I'll probably give them this one. Um, but if they are looking at ocean views, I would say probably this one would be the one we want to go with. So we're going to select the sailing because I really like ocean views. That's my favorite room type because um, you get a nice window and everything to look out. Now, you're going to see different rate codes here now. So what rate codes are is the rate code similar to Disney where we selected that 30%, um, that rate code that we selected. It's similar to that here, uh, different promotions that they're running. So they're running a 72-hour limited time sale. So that's the, the sale that they have currently on their website. Um, you can offer those rates. Um, they have June savings sales, early saver sales, fund select, uh, and super saver. And you can kind of see some of the uh, uh, the different comparisons by clicking compare offers uh, and you can compare them side by side. Um, and then also if you click these eyes, it'll give you some information about those uh, particular things. And then it'll give you the fine print, what that rate code is. The deposit's not refundable and non-transferable for this particular rate. So if they weren't completely sold on cruising or something like that, maybe that's not a rate that you would select. So. Um, let's just say early saver. And, and like I said, the reason that I would do the VIPF number is because if we had entered that, there would be a VIPF rate. And nine times out of 10, um, you can almost guarantee it's gonna be a little bit better here and there. Um, it's not always the case, you know, so if you didn't, if they didn't have one and they didn't want one, it's fine, it would be very, very close. But nine times out of 10, I would say always do that um, just so that you make sure that that rate's not better for them. Uh, so let's just say we'll go to Ocean View. We'll do the 72 hour limited sale. Now, if we got to this point and we just wanted to give them a really, really quick quote, um, we're just going to go quick quote. And then we can see two different things. So we can see this is the agent view. At a high level, we'll see the deposit's gonna be $500. Um, we're gonna see that uh, the cruise rate is the final payment of $1788, and then our commission on this sale would be $109. So um, again, that would apply $109. If we sold this, divide that by two, if we do 50-50, that'd be $54.50 for a booking that took you five minutes. Um, so. Uh, it kind of just depends on the cruise too and the rates that you select in the time of the year and what you're sailing on. Those commissions can be much higher, especially with like Royal Caribbean and things like that. And a lot of their commissions are in the 300s, um, which is really nice. But a lot of these also are a lot higher than this. It just depends on the rate you select and the time of year that they're sailing. Um, and then they can also do uh, guest view as well. So a guest view is the itinerary of the cruise. So you do Fun Day at Sea, Grand Turk, Amber Cove, Fun Day at Sea, they go to Nassau, and then they go Fun Day at Sea, and then back to Miami. So you can see that this is the guest, 894 guest, and then it equals 1788. Um, that does go down if you add more guests. Like if you add kids, a lot of times they adjust the rates. Um, so it's very similar in price. Um, Carnival Vacation Protection, always would recommend selling that uh, to your clients. Um, so we'll add that. Um, and then gratuities. Now, cruise lines, what they do is they automatically add gratuities to uh, your cruise, um, to each of your clients. So at the end of the cruise, they pay a certain set amount, which which for this cruise, it's $95 a person, or no, no, I'm sorry, $112 a person per guest. Now, I will say, I almost guarantee you, they will earn your tips. You can remove those, the, the guests can remove those, but common custom is that they don't. Um, and not, not many people do. Uh, I promise you, if you go on a cruise, they will earn your tips and they will earn your business, almost guaranteed. So I would add that to all the clients. I like having prepaid gratuities. That makes it a lot easier for whenever you go on the ship, everything's paid for, everything's good, they don't have to worry about anything. 
and they just enjoy uh, enjoy the cruise. So, uh, if we wanted to share this quote, uh, we could go. Let's just put my email, and then you can enter a custom note like, "Hey, I found this awesome deal on this cruise. Check it out and let me know." Now that will actually be on their confirmation when they uh, view it in their email. Now, like I said before, you're booking directly with the vendors. So this email confirmation they get will be directly from Carnival Cruise Line because you are a registered agent with Carnival Cruise Line, uh, if that makes sense. So um, we'll click email quote and then boom, there we're done. We sent them the email quote on a cruise almost in what, three or four minutes. Um, if we sell that to them, then we've earned that that fifty-four dollars. But um, if you notice, when we added the vacation protection package, uh, that commission went up a little bit. So you also do get paid for adding uh, things onto the cruise as well. Um, you can book shore excursions uh, directly through uh, Carnival as well, um, and you can add that for your client. Any of the tools really that they would have to call in for, they can call you for, or they can message you for, um, which is really nice, saves them a lot of time on hold, and they don't have to worry about anything. So that makes the value of having a travel agent goes up there, because then they don't have to worry about doing all the different things uh, that it takes to, to get a vacation planned, and then worry about if something happens, like a hurricane, or you know COVID happens again, they don't have to sit on hold for five, six, seven hours. I did see that a lot during the pandemic, is that normal hold times, were hours and hours and hours, but we have agent lines that were almost an instant answer um, whenever I had to physically call the cruise lines to get some extra help. But most of the time, my tools that I had in this portal was able to resolve the issues right away. So that's really nice. Um, so we see our uh, thing went up, so we would earn fifty nine twenty five uh, if we sold this cruise, if we were on the free plan, but obviously the 70%, you would earn a lot more. Uh, if you're on that paid plan and selling a lot of cruises. So um, if we wanted to, we could also continue this. Uh, and one of the things I told you earlier is you can make mock-up bookings. So we're going to continue that right now. If I just put Mr. John Doe, I'm just going to put a date that makes sense for an adult. Mm, that's good enough. Let's do United States. Let's just say they're from Ohio. We're gonna enter my email. Put our business number. And then we can add the protection for them. Sure, uh, we'll do that. And then we'll put uh, Miss Jane Doe. I'm doing this for a reason, so please bear with me. Let's say she was born 1965, United States, let's say Ohio, and let's put my email again. Yes, continue to review. Now we're ready to book that. If they did have additional people traveling with them, you would get their confirmation email uh, or, or their, their confirmation email, yeah, and get their confirmation code for that cruise. You can paste those numbers here for their confirmation. And then that would link their bookings together. Even if they didn't, it, like say their friend didn't book with you, you can still get their confirmation and add it here. And then they will actually be listed together as one party. So that means that when they go to dinner, uh, like either late dining, your time dining or whatever, um, they could automatically find them together and then they'll seat them together so their friends and family can sit together. Um, so that's how you would link them together. You would grab their other friends' confirmation, like I said, even if they didn't book with you, um, and then they would uh, be pasted here and then that would give them uh, the access to eat together, which is really nice. So um, we can see that we added all the goodies and different things like that and it actually went up a little bit more. Uh, we added the vacation protection packages and different things like that. So. Now our commission is 128, so that means your commission would be $64 if you were on our free plan uh, for something that took you, what, maybe five minutes. Um, and then obviously if you're making more sales, you can go to that 70%.
So why did I go to the very end here? So I'm going to answer that right now. I went to the very end and put in Jane Doe and John Doe because I want to go and say, yes, I've confirmed here. Now I have a hold option. So I can now hold this cruise uh, and I'll go ahead and click that. They will actually be booked on this cruise for 48 hours. So you can use it for two scenarios. If you had all your guests and information and this is one that you're actually selling, you could then uh, say, hey, I've held it for 42 hours um, or 48 hours. And then you're able to kind of talk amongst each other, um, understand you know, if you want to do this. And if not, if they end up not booking after 48 hours, this will just fall completely apart. You don't have to do anything else and it'll just go away. Um, you don't have to cancel it. You don't have to do anything. As long as that deposit's not made, it's not going to do anything. So we've held this room. They now have 48 hours to really consider whether they want to do this cruise. Maybe they want a different cruise. Uh, and it kind of gives them a little bit of time to feel like they have some room to breathe and to understand, yeah, I have some time to see if I actually want to do this or not. Um, now, but that's one scenario. There's also another scenario that I wanted to talk about now. The reason that I did this also, and I used the name John Doe and Jane Doe, is because if I have this cruise rate locked in, I can now go to my Facebook, go to wherever I want to sell travel, and I can advertise this for the next 48 hours. Hey, I have two people sailing to Nassau, the Bahamas, and things like that. Um, only $2,202 if you book right now. Um, if you get those people interested, all you have to do is go into edit the booking and then add your information for your actual clients, get their deposit, and then there you go. So that's how you can make a mock-up booking and go CCL. And this would work very similar to the other cruise lines as well. You would make a mock-up booking um, and then advertise it on your web page. Hey, I've got this great deal. Um, let's get you booked on it. And, uh, and uh, we have limited room options and things like that. Um, you can also do things like clone the booking. So if you want to offer like two, three, four, five rooms, I have five rooms right now at this rate. Act now or you're going to miss them. You know, you can do that. Um, you do need to make sure when you do that, though, you make sure you select the same rate codes and that um, like the occupancy levels didn't go up or down. So it didn't change the price. Um, that doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen. So make sure you just look at that carefully and make sure that those are doing that if you're going to do it that way. Um, so if you have, uh, say, three rooms, we're going to clone booking, clone booking, clone booking, and then we can go advertise it on our website uh, and say, hey, I have a, a cruise, and then sell those cruises. So you can do it either way. You can hold it for your clients or you can use it to advertise for selling things. Um, then you could also send a confirmation. If you had booked your clients, you go, uh, go CCL profile, you enter their information there. So I would enter Jeremy McKinney at iCloud.com, send confirmation, then they'll get the official confirmation that their booking is complete. If they've made their deposit and everything like that. Uh, if they haven't, then they'll just have to make that deposit. You click make a payment. You call your client. They either want to pay the full balance of $2,202 or they can pay the $690 deposit, uh, which is due July 1st, uh, in order to hold that room and get that in there, and then they can make payments as they go. So then they would just enter their card information. Like I said, none of the money comes to TravelWizzy at all. It goes directly to Carnival, um, or directly to Disney, or directly to Expedia. So there's no money for you to jumble around. You just Act like a, tra a travel agent because you are one and you book it directly with the vendors. Um, so you get access to do that uh, if you're part of our plan. So <clears throat> hopefully that makes sense. I uh, haven't seen any questions thus far, so maybe that's a good thing. Um, hopefully I'm still streaming. Uh, so let's go on to the final one, uh, which is Vax Vacation Access. And when I say final, that just means the ones that we can actually demo here during the during the call. There, like I said, there's 32 vendors that were approved. Some of those are in Vax. Uh, a lot of those are in Vax, which you'll see in just a moment. Uh, but there are many, many other things. And there's some partnerships that other host agencies don't have that we do have, um, which gives you a little bit of an advantage over some of the other ones, like Legoland uh, and things like that are also a partner with us now, uh, Legoland or Lando. So this is Vax Vacation Access. Uh, a lot of different vendors use this. Uh, uh, Hilton Hotels owns a lot of things like the uh, Apple Vacations, Blue Sky, uh, things like that. They own a lot of these different vendors. Uh, but some of the other vendors like Universal Studios, SeaWorld, Busch Gardens, 
they all use uh, Vax Vacation Access, which is a really good thing for you because once you have access to this portal, you are automatically licensed to sell with the people listed here. So you can sell a variety of different things. So uh, Apple Vacations is here. You got Universal Hollywood, Universal Studios Orlando is in here. Uh, SeaWorld is in here. Bush Gardens, Discovery Cove, which is the area where you can kind of swim with dolphins and things like that in Orlando. So that's really cool. Um, but yeah, a lot of your vendors, this is going to be a place that if you want to sell a land vacation, this is the place to come. Vax Vacations has some incredible deals. And honestly, some of the deals that I really want to book myself. Um, but we're going to go uh, through this. So we're going to select uh, Apple Vacations, they do really good uh, quotes on land vacations. Um, so Tessa, you had asked me earlier about international partners. Um, I would say check here and see if they have some deals here for Paris. Um, I think this would be a great place for you to start. And then uh, if not, then go to Expedia and, and so on. Um, but honestly, some of the best vacation deals is in Vax. Um, so we want to do Apple Vacations, but like I said, you could have selected any vendor here. Um, we're going to say we want a hotel only, we want a flight in a car, we want activities only, uh, we want to do special agent bookings, things like that. Um, well, we wouldn't do that, but um, hotel and flight. Uh, let's just say we're going to do a hotel and flight. Let's say we're going to depart from Dayton International, uh, really, really close to my area. So we'll go there, uh, and then let's say... Let's say, let's just, let's use this as an example, Tesla. Let's see what we got. So we want to go to Paris, France. Um, so one of your clients are looking to go to Paris, France. Let's use that as an example. Um, so we're going to do one room, uh, two adults. Let's just say um, they have two kids. So Tessa, if you can comment, how many kids are actually going on this vacation? If you could comment that. If you know that. If you don't, that's fine. I'll give that a second. I'm sure there's a lag. Only the two adults. Got it. So we're going to do two adults. Um, do you know when they are departing? And sorry if I have a mass amount of lag here. I'm not sure how much of a lag there actually is. Uh, I believe in August, haven't got specifics yet. So, okay, that's fine. Um, so let's just go August 1st, and let's say they want to take a really long trip. I am, I'm a big proponent of doing, uh, okay, next year, um, really long vacations. Like when I do a vacation, it's typically like 11 days, something like that. Um, but for this case, Going overseas, I really don't know. So I'm just going to pick a random one. Um, uh, let's just say they want to go till the Thursday. Um, so we'll do six nights uh, vacation in Paris. So we selected Apple Vacations, which is our vendor. But like I said, you could have selected any of these vendors. You can look through all of them, see if they have better deals. Each of them are going to have their own deals. Um, so for this one, I've, I've had really good luck with Apple Vacations doing really good. So they want to depart from Dayton, Ohio, go to Paris, France. They have two adults, zero children, go August 1st to August 7th. And now we're going to click search. So now this may take a minute. It's going to crunch all the numbers for us um, and add that. Okay, looks like there's not flights from that area. So let me change the airport. That's not that's not surprising, honestly, because Dayton doesn't have a lot of international connections. So let me see if Cincinnati works. And as you see, guys, you have to play around with this a little bit. I'm just going to pick a random airport that I know. I don't know where they're departing from. So let me just find one that actually works. 
I'm gonna go extreme here. And Tessa, you can play around with this a little bit later. I just gotta find one that can work for this uh, for this example. Okay, let's try a different vendor. Or you know what? Let's let's for this example because I don't want to take too much of your guys' time. Let's exclude the flight just for a minute, um, and just go Paris, France, because we could go back separately and type in uh, Paris on a flight. It could honestly just be that they haven't planned those flights that far ahead. And that does happen um, where airlines only plan like six to seven months in advance. So I think that's probably what's happening here, Tessa, is that the flights just aren't available yet for next year. So for this example, I'll just do a hotel because most hotels will book a year in advance, but flights are typically gonna be within six months. So um, you'll have to monitor that for them uh, when you're doing this. If they wanna go ahead and book the land portion, we can do the flights later, uh, and then you would just do flight only in VAX and find them that flight. So let's see if this works. Whoops, I accidentally did one day vacation. I don't think people are gonna do a one day vacation. Or no, no I didn't, August 1st to the 10th. Got it, got it, got it, here we go. All right, so uh, we did the hotel only. We solved that problem. It's just because they don't offer the flights currently. It doesn't mean that they don't exist. It just means that the flights aren't currently available. So if you do get that Tesla, um, that's probably why, because flights don't book that far ahead. So if they want to do a quote, it'll probably be hotel separately and then a hotel uh, other times. So if we want to see this, this is what, like 10 days in Paris, I think it was. Um, so currently our total package price for 10 days in Paris at a hotel is $3,280.04, which if I think so, I think that's pretty good. Um, uh, so we can see that uh, price per person is $1,640.02. Uh, and then if they didn't like that, we can actually go through this list. It gives you a list of 41 hotels that are available in Paris. Uh, so I'll see you union. I uh, can't say I'm super versed in Paris, but um, I'm sure you'll get there uh, quicker than me, uh, Tessa. Um, but we can go through this list. We can see this adds a thousand. This adds a thousand. Now this one removes a thousand seventy-seven dollars. So if it wasn't quite in their budget, um, like say this three thousand dollar one wasn't in their budget, um, they wanted to go down to hotel whatever this is. We see that TripAdvisor rates it. Four and a half stars, so that's pretty good. Um, so let's just select that instead. That'll actually change our vacation package uh, to where now they can do 10 days in Paris for $1,502.68 total. Uh, so that makes it seven fifty one thirty four dollars a person total. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, so if it doesn't originally match their budget, you can play around in Vax Vacations uh, and kind of uh, make it work for your clients, I guess, would be a good example. So um, so to answer your earlier question, Tessa, we've proven yes, you can go ahead and give them quotes in Paris um, and, uh, and let me know if you do have issues along the way and I'd be more than happy to help you uh, uh, rate that out for them. Um, okay, so now I wanna do one more because I do wanna give you an example of one with flights. Uh, so we're going to do hotels and flights. I'm going to go back to my original um, and maybe tempt some of you with this offer if you're watching this uh, because they're really insane uh, how good they are. Oh, wait, I'm not departing from Orlando. What am I thinking? I want to part from Dayton. I love flying from Dayton when I can because it is close to home, only about 24 minutes from me, and I'm more than willing to do that. Uh, so I have two adults. I have two kids. Um seven and 11 year old. Okay, so I want to depart. I wish I could depart right this very second and go to Orlando, um, but I'm going to go, let's say Friday, August 2nd, and I want to return on, let's say the 8th. So I want to do a, a six night vacation in Orlando, um, and then we click search. Uh, it's going to crunch all the numbers for us and do all the searching for us so that we can provide the information to our clients.
So Joel said, are we able to set up a pre-trip booking and post it for the other vendors for a quick booking like you do a carnival? So I think I understand that question, Joel. Um, like, can we post mock-up bookings? Um, and the answer is yes. To a certain extent, you can do that on Vax Vacations. You save it as a quick itinerary. And I believe that they guarantee those rates for a couple days. Um, but like any vendor, it could change. So um, it just depends. Uh, but I believe, yes, you can. Most of the vendors do allow you to put a hold or something like that on the vacation so that you can go into your area and actually sell it. So uh, I told you I was going to tempt you with some flights to Orlando here. So we can see with hotel, uh, our current vacation package is $2,348.32. That includes your flights. Uh, yeah, yeah, because it's, look, it's Delta Airlines outbound. is parts at 6 a.m. to 7.39 a.m. Uh, so you get there, and then you know, it looks like you have a, a layover in Atlanta, and then you get there at 9.52 a.m. Um, and then your return flight is 156 to 454. You go to MCO to L LGA, uh, LaGuardia, um, and you fly from LaGuardia to Dayton uh, on Delta. And then we have the hotel. The one that's currently selected is Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort. If you remember right, um, this same hotel on Expedia was around $2,000 earlier, but we can now make this uh, package uh, do this. So we're going to select this one. Processing. We're going to build out this package real quick. All right, so here it is. We're okay with base economy, uh, or do we want main cabin? And there's the price difference. If we want to add main cabin, it increases our price by 323.48. Some people do like to have seat selection. Some people really don't care. Um, so it really just depends on your clients. So let's just say my client really wants to keep the cost down, doesn't care if he's separated from his, uh, his wife for two hours. Um, we'll, we'll collect that. They're really budget conscious people. We'll, we'll think about that. I'm usually pretty budget conscious on vacations too. All right. Uh, so we see that we have our outbound flights. And now we're going to go in here and let's just do this one because we want to keep the current price. We're going to select our flight. And now we have the hotel. We're going to check out. All right, now we have our itinerary summary. Now this is where we can select our rooms, uh, the specific room types that we want. So if we want a hearing accessible room, uh, we want a poolside hearing room. It does add a little bit of cost here and there based upon what room types you select, but it's very clear on what it, it adds to the thing based upon the needs of your clients. So let's say they want a volcano bay view. That's a really cool view because you can see the giant volcano from the water park. I seen it from across the street in uh, one of the hotels that I stayed in. Uh, uh, I think it was like a year ago. Um, and that's a really cool thing to see at night with it fogging like it's going to explode uh, and things like that. So if they want to add it, it would add like 600 something or something there. But um, very, very easy to make sure that your uh, clients are aware of that. Um, they do offer travel protection plans that you can do, so you can cancel a vacation for whatever reason and they're covered. It uh, doesn't matter. It covers uh, worry, worry less about travel mishaps, uh, covers for meals, lodging, transportation, if the trip is delayed for a covered reason, and things like that. I would always recommend trying to sell that to your clients. Uh, it's obviously not required, but it is honestly something that you would probably want to do. Um, you can also add things in here as well. It's, it's a one-stop shop portal. So you can also add a car rental for them, uh, $328.57 for a car rental there. And that should be in terminal, I believe, because all of those vendors I know of and MCO are in terminal. Um, so Budget, Avis, or Alamo, uh, excuse me, um, are covered. 
And uh, you can add that right there for your clients, which is really cool. So if we wanted to add that, let's just say, let's go ahead and add the car. Uh, the car. I like Avis. Um, they're usually pretty good for me. We'll enter our information. Um, if they have TSA pre-check, um, they can do stuff like that and enter the known traveler number. Um, sorry, it's just loading that extra cost. So if I added a car rental, then our package price is $2,691.18. So flights, a hotel, and a car rental for $2,600 for four people. Have you ever seen a deal so good to Orlando? Uh, probably not. So that's what I'm saying. Through our program, you get access to some of the leading industry rates, uh, which is amazing. And uh, you can offer so much more value to your clients. And really selling is not a hard thing to do whenever you're dealing with rates like this. So that's what's great about this program. It gives you access to get these deals. And the nice thing is you can also apply these deals to yourself. So you can get these deals anytime that you want to take a personal vacation and then you earn commission based upon that as well. So um, let's see if there's anything else we can add. So I don't think so. Uh, so then we would add in their card information. Um, they would pay, um, <clears throat> they could pay a deposit on this vacation. This particular one is, is, uh, basically, uh, almost half, I guess. Um, it's, uh, 1,591.84, uh, down. And then their full payment is due on, uh, well, for this one, it's so close. It's due the next day. So it's not much different. So they might as well just pay it. Um, they do offer financing, uh, through Uplift. Uh, as well. So if you wanted to offer that to your clients, uh, if that is an option for this trip, it'll show up in the checkout. Um, for this one, I'm not sure that it is. Um, but if it's available, then then you can offer that to them. No, no, no problem. So I want to decline the travel protection say, but if I wanted to add that, I could do that. Um, let's just, let's just, <coughs> excuse me, leave it on, leave it off for now. Um, but Hopefully you get the idea. So if I want to see what the commission is on this, we go to booking administration right here before we book. Um, and then you can see that the commission on this particular one is 107.88. Now that's going to uh, change based upon, um, you know, what you do or whatever, but it, you can actually, which I wouldn't recommend doing this, but um, you, can, uh, you can do things like set your commission, so you could uh, adjust that commission based upon that. So if you added $50, it would add $50 to your commission. Now, like I said, I wouldn't never do that to my people, um, but that option's there. Um, if it was a really good deal and you needed to make a little more commission on that or whatever, you could do that if you wanted to, but honestly, I never do that to my clients. Um, I think that would be a bad practice, but uh, that is there. I just wanna make sure I show that to you uh, so you know it's there. Um, so let's do that. So, apologize, it's taking a minute. Um, we could email or print this itinerary. So we got it all queued up for our uh, individuals. So we'll go to Jeremy McKinney at iCloud.com. Right, and then reply would be to what you want. It's set to default probably to agent support at travelwizzy.com. If you wanted to reply directly to you instead, um, you would just pop in your email address there. And then whenever they replied to the email on that quote, uh, they would say, uh, you know, hey, I want to do this. Uh, how do we get it going? Then you would get that email back and then you would just subject uh, put look at this amazing booking or something like that. And then we can preview it. Um, and then we kind of see what they uh, what what they would get. So I said, thank you for taking the time to uh, time to price an Apple vacation schedule with Travel Wizzy. This email is to notify you that you've been working with Jeremy McKinney. So this would say uh, your name uh, from Travel Wizzy. All the prices listed, subject to change until payment is received. So the answer is a little bit of our question. We can hold this. Um, but the vendor does reserve the right to change the price. Now that's not the case on Carnival because that actually is booked for 48 hours, but some of these um, are subject to change, but I haven't seen them change a lot, if that makes sense. And a lot of your clients, if they're really interested in booking, they're probably gonna go with that within a couple of days and you're not gonna really have to worry about that too much. 
Um, so we can email that. We can print it out. We can actually physically give it to them. Say you're at church with them or whatever. Um, print it out and take it to them. Show them exactly what you got for them and what you're planning for them. Um, like I said, you can offer those monthly plans if it's available in that booking. I don't think it is on this one just for the fact that it's so close uh, to what I booked. We're only like a month or so out from that date. Um, but yeah, uh, there is a way to save the bookings as well. Um, let me look real quick. <laughs> okay. I think for this one, I can't do it because it's so close, but, um, you can, or no, no, right there. Sorry. I apologize. I'm still, uh, waiting for this to load. Uh, we could save this. Uh, itinerary. Let's just say, uh, I'm going to use your name, Tessa. Let's say this is Tessa, Tessa Collins, uh, booking quote, and then you can save your itinerary. And you see the itinerary named this quote is saved. And now we're going to go out here to our main page and we're going to go retrieve saved itinerary up here. And then if they're ready to go ahead and book that, say you've quoted a ton of different vacation packages uh, and you're just ready to sell that one particular one, okay, there's Tessa Collins' booking quote. Uh, it expires 7-13-2024. Um, so that's another way that we could go out and say, hey, we have this great deal. Um, why don't you go ahead and book with me? I've got this thing. We've got flights. We've got hotels. We've got car rentals, all for like 2600 bucks. I mean, who could beat that? Um, that's a great deal for Orlando for a six night vacation in Orlando uh, at one of the actual Orlando resorts that is one of the theme park resorts. That was a an official universal hotel uh, in that quote as well. Um, so it's really, really nice. Um, so if we're ready to book that, we just click go and wait for that to load. It can take a few minutes to load sometimes. It's just because it's crunching a lot of numbers. <clears throat> All right, now we're back in our package. So we see our total package price is still $2,691.18. Don't know why this window is popping up, so we'll give it just a second. Okay, it's because we're right here. Um, so let's accept those. Um, yeah, because we didn't select that uh, thing. So it's just asking me on the base economy again. Uh, that's all it was doing. So we know we selected that one, so we selected that again. Wait for that to load. If you guys are thinking of anything else, um, now would be a great time to, to drop the questions uh, in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, and we'll kind of get to actually how to join this program uh, here towards the end. Uh, we're getting pretty close to the end of the live stream. So um, if you can, go ahead and drop your comments and uh, we'll get that uh, answered for you as soon as we can. Um, so we see that they have all the things that they want. And then that's when we would go back in, enter all their information, make sure all that's good. The Avis Economy car is still in there. We decline the travel protection. We'd start entering the contact information, TSA numbers, and go all the way to the bottom. And then this is whenever we want to uh, uh, do the things. Now, if you have a client that, say, wants to book uh, a vacation but needs to split it between uh, two different cards. Now, you could do that. You could click two. Got to be a little bit patient with this portal, but it works great. Um, so you could do that. So you could enter in this number here, and then you can enter the second card number down here. Uh, then you could split the booking uh, cost up. Now, you can split it up to 10 different cards, but if someone's booking that, they're pretty desperate for a vacation. So um, we can do it, but most likely you're never going to do 10 different cards. Uh, so yeah, so that's Vax Vacation Portal. Like I said, this is another tool that you'll get access to. It's not the only tool that you'll get access to. There's 32 different vendors. A lot of them are 
uh, housed in here. There's a good handful of those here. Uh, but there are many other vendors like Norwegian Cruise Line, Royal Caribbean, and all that good stuff too that you'll get access to. And like I said, all of them have training portals out here so we can see education. Vax Vacation is no stranger to training. They provide all of that training to you free of cost. Um, you just go through their different training portals to learn about how to book in this site. Um, and that goes with any of the vendors beside like what I said was the ones that aren't there. We're going to have training for those and we'll personally train you on those that don't. But there's only like one that I can think of off the top of head, which is Legoland Orlando. But that one is super simple. Um, uh, but almost 99% of the portals have training housed in them uh, and you would just find their education portal and you can go through all of those and learn everything that you need to know about how to sell travel as a travel agent, which is really nice. And you get access to that whenever you join the Travel Wizzy program by getting access to these portals uh, through our license. So um, that was the demo of the, th uh, the four different portals. Like I said, there's many, many more. Um, and that kind of leads us to back to this slide. Uh, so if you would like to join Travel Wizzy, it's, it's pretty simple. If you like what you've seen today, um, you just go to uh, TravelWizzy.com um, and you'll select one of these plans. And like I said, the 50% commission split, example 50, you get 75, 75. If you did the, one of the paid plans, <clears throat> which is what I would recommend after you kind of get into it and you kind of understand the program and you understand bookings, you're getting good bookings and different things like that. Um, and you'll be good. Uh, so you'll select that. Um, now, uh, to actually join this, and Joel, I do see your question. I'll answer that in just a moment. Um, so to become an agent, uh, you click the become an agent, you go to travelwizzy.com. You click become an agent, and then there's a little bit of a snippet video that I made out here that you can look at. Plus, there's a whole thing out here that tells you exactly what a travel uh, wizard advisor is. Um, and it tells you a little bit about it. If you scroll down below, uh, it gives you some information that you've kind of seen in today's webinar. Uh, what is a travel agent? Do I need to uh, get a travel agent license? Where do travel agents work? What type of travel uh, can I book as a travel wizard? Where do travel wizards typically book vacations? What type of travel partnerships do we have? How do commissions work? So that would be another thing. Um, do I need to uh, do to, do I need an LLC to join Travel Wizzy? Answer is no, you do not. Um, do I sell? Uh, do I have to sell travel as Travel Wizzy? No, you. Like I said you are. Uh, you can set up your own Facebook account, uh, things like that. And then yes, I can. Uh, can I earn commissions on my bookings? Absolutely. That's the whole point of this program. Um, and then uh, ready to get started as well. So um, if you guys are interested in this program, you select one of these plans, you'll answer a couple questions uh, that will give you even more information about the program. Uh, and then basically we set up a call. I do a deeper explanation of the program to you. We can do a one-on-one -on -one session. Uh, if you have additional questions, if you don't, we can get you approved. Um, and we'll be there along the way. We're accessible. Um, I try to be accessible to all of our agents uh, through messaging. And then uh, if they need one-on-one -on -one calls, we can set that up through uh, something like Google Meet or something like that. Um, so yeah. Uh, trying to think. Uh, so if you guys are interested, take a look at www.travelwizzy.com. Um, and that takes us to this slide. So questions. So I'm going to go through some of these final questions that we have here. Uh, so you, Joel said, once the trip is booked and the payment's made, when do we receive our commission and is it direct deposit to our bank account? Okay, so um, that's a great question. Uh, how it works is once the trip is booked and it's paid in full, uh, you will receive the commission payment uh, about three to four weeks after uh, the vacation is completed with your clients. So the reason that we do that, and that's what all host agencies do, it's not just us. Um, the reason that we do that is because there is possibilities of cancellations and things like that. So the vendors do not pay commissions to Travel Wizzy until like between one to three weeks after the, the trip is actually taken by your clients. So um, uh, basically once the client takes that vacation, 
Travel Lizzie will receive that commission payment one to three weeks after that travel is completed successfully. Um, and then uh, that commission is actually paid via PayPal. We have a partnership directly with PayPal, uh, which is a really, really secure payment platform uh, that I'm sure all of you have heard of. Uh, we send out commission payments through PayPal currently. That may change in the future, but currently that is how we send it. So whenever you sign up as an agent, it will actually ask you for your, for your PayPal information, and then that's stored on our end for us to be able to make that payment to you after our uh, clients uh, or after your clients get back from their vacations. We'll receive that commission, and then you'll get your split after that. And uh, then you can uh, uh, transfer it from your PayPal account to your bank account if you wish uh, at that point. That way, we don't have to directly connect bank, bank account information from you, uh, and that just honestly makes it more secure on your end, and it makes it more secure on our end not having to uh, have that all in our system at all, and it's in a more secure platform uh, for distributing those payments. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so Fred, you said, what about Airbnb? So Airbnb is a great question. Um, Expedia tap sometimes might have stuff like that. Like I've seen people renting out, uh, their homes and things like that on Expedia tap. Um, I believe that they kind of connect to the service called Verbo and things like that. Now those are partnerships that we hope to have in the distant future or hopefully even the near future. Uh, with those companies, but those are things that will eventually come hopefully uh, naturally as we continue to progress through the program. But Airbnb, that's a great question. Um, so yeah. So um, I'm sure there's like a two or three minute lag here. So um, I'm gonna give it just a minute uh, to see if we get any more questions here. But like I said, the program uh, it's pretty easy to join. Uh, all you have to go is out here. So let's say we want to do the agent starter plan. We go here, we sign up for an account. Uh, it's going to ask us for our first, last name, email address, password that, uh, that we want. Um, it would be your home address, uh, your phone number to get in contact with you, uh, whether you want to be subscribed, the newsletter and things. Those aren't things that are currently available, but they will be available hopefully in the future. Um, it'll ask you what business name that you're going to sell as. Um, so whatever name that you plan on selling under, that would be kind of, you know, make sure that we help you and grow you in any way that we can, um, and give you tips. Uh, so we know what you're selling it as, um, and then, uh, describe why you want to become a travel agent with us in detail. So kind of give us a little bit of information about you, about what made you interested in this program. Uh, just so that we kind of get an idea of what you want to do. Uh, and then uh, tell us what we should know about you. Uh, why should we accept you into the program? Uh, how would you handle and resolve a, com a customer conflict or issue? Kind of gives us some information about who you are, how you would deal conflicts and things like that, because that does happen with clients. You know, obviously travel industry is not free of, of conflict. I'm sure, you know, not cr super crazy things have ever happened to me, but you know, sometimes bad things do happen along their trips and you're there to help them. But nine times out of 10, uh, we can give you advice and, and help you and do things like that. So that's kind of a, a question on how, how would you handle conflict with your customers? Um, Cause this is your business. Uh, we're giving you the tools to start uh, as an independent travel agent on your own. Uh, and uh, we'll provide those tools and resources and help along the way to get you there. Um, describe your experience selling travel. So that's a question that if you are seasoned in travel, um, what have you done? What have you sold? What have you uh, uh, done to, to, to do those things? However, like I said, it's not required to ever had travel agent experience in order to join this program. That's just for people that have had that experience. We want to kind of get some insight. If you've never done that, if you sold trip to your grandma, you know, put that there, you know. <laughs> um, so if you aren't accepting this program, what will you do? Most people put nothing. Um, you know, I'll just I'll just go about my life, you know, stuff like that. It's just a question. Um, and then tell us why we should accept you in this program. Sell yourself and why you would uh, make a great travel wizard. That's just where you sell yourself to us. You know, tell us, hey, I'd be great. I have a lot of people that I really want to help. You know, I feel good about this. I feel good about travel. Um, I'm really excited about the program uh, and really want to become a travel agent. 
Um, and then just you have uh, agree to a phone interview screening. And like I said, that's usually through Google Meet. Um, I'll send you a link and we'll just do a conversation and do a more in-depth uh, preview. Uh, and a lot of you that are on this call, um, you may not even need that. Um, it'll just be at your discretion. If you've, if you've been here, kind of understand the program, we can kind of do a generalized call, go over some additional items if you have questions, maybe set up a few portals together so that you kind of you know, get the hang of it and how to set things up for yourself. Um, and then we'll help you get the, the, the training wheels off and you'll be off selling travel before you know it. Um, and then just your PayPal email address and that's what we use to pay commissions through there. So you'll click submit there. That'll go to our, um, our portal. It'll tell me that we have a new agent that wants to sign up. And then at that point, um, we will uh, reach out to you and start get you set up a journey that, uh, that you want to start on.